there we go. Oh, there's some quality pictures. I really did want to. You know, I even, uh, I even borrowed a grand off a of beer to, to, to book uh, plane tickets. <clears throat> Uh, as an alternative, and uh, well, Cindy came down with a bad infection that we didn't deal with, a, a nasal infection, so, you know, no no going up above 10,000 feet with that. Mm -hmm. And I had a bunch of people waiting on the MV and Merrill, so. Uh, it looks like a pretty dang good showing, considering it was Fukushima raining out. Looks like uh, guys had a weather break, so you didn't get all that chemtrail and that our carbon tax has been buying to, you know, control where the Fukushima radiological fallout falls, uh, or, uh, you know, steal rain from the <laughs> winders to top up your reservoirs. Is that how you guys cook? The carbon tax books to show what you've been doing with all our uh, carbon tax for uh, global warming. I mean cooling. I mean change, change, climate change. Yeah, when the fuck doesn't climate change? Yeah, granted, granted, you are correct. You're in for one hell of a Ragnarok. Very, very fucking soon. As soon as CG two. The, the marriage between CG2 and Sagittarius A make it our way, which whatever, Titari, star, black hole, whatever the fuck was in that CG2 cloud, cloud uh, plasma cloud, whatever comes out of that marriage, and as far as a galactic core burst, as uh, Dr. Paul LeViolet puts it, they... It's fucking on the way. It's been on the way for, for at least 23,000 years, and it will be here soon. I'm not so sure that we didn't already have the first wave of it on uh, the Tokamak uh, earthquake in uh, March 2011, that uh, you know, gravitational wave, and what was it... Uh, 18 hours later, we started it's as though somebody neutron bred the, the crippled reactors. And the MOX reactors start, uh, or the MOX cooling pool starts uh, giving off blue beams of neutron. And <laughs> uh, based on, you know, my distant readings, say, eh? I mean, I know a gravity wave when it knocks me to the fucking ground, okay? Knocks all my fucking equipment out of commission. Pardon me, did I say gravity wave? <sighs> Humanese is such ridiculous language. Gravitational wave, the hypothetical gravitational wave. <sighs> There's a link. Because I know you guys don't know how to look things up on your own. You know, you can't just like... Right clip. Well, what is, uh, what is, uh, what is, uh, Blizzard Prospects? Uranium mine. I know, I know, this is a lot to do. And then you, you know, left click, depending on how you got things rigged, and then search. And... Well, so that's loading. We'll just finish this off. Okay, I don't see a whole lot of new comments or nothing, so. It's clearly only the uh, privatized prison lobbyists that were commenting anymore. They locked us out about 9.30 this morning. As soon as I started um, sending backup copies to present to, uh, to the Legislative Assembly. So, let's see how that right click or left click, depending on your setup, works. Oh, well, here we are. Here we are on Google Search. And here's the famous Blizzard Prospects south of Kelowna. What does that have to say? They're trying like a bugger to hush this up. Basically, they 
gave 130 or 180 million in court costs, I think it was. Uh, this is just going back a few years now. Uh, to the mine producers after, for what would, I'm sure it's the same bolide that I've been tracking, uh, which is part of my main mission here, down on my earth. I'm, uh, I'm sure it's the same one, which was, you know, uh, supernova three million years ago when it hit earth. Um. Same one that did my society in eighty thousand years ago. Yep. Which means there's no no way you can come anywhere close to reaching the uh, the amount of U two thirty five mixed in the U-238 to have ever made it viable to mine even if the price of uranium quadrupled. So I don't know what did that stir out as a, a cover up for the uh, Hanford uh, pollution or something? Plutonium pollution or uh, Hanford uh, plutonium reserve? Just south in Washington, on the Columbia River. Just, you know, just down river from the Downey Slide. In the uh, Revelstoke uh, Hydro Dam Reservoir. That, you know, that's going to let loose one of these earthquakes. So almost certainly when the... Uh, when the Cascade splits, she'll go with it. If not then, shortly after. And then we'll have plutonium hexafluoride and all kinds of derivatives and daughter products spread from the Columbia River out into the Pacific and both directions on the coast. Where the Columbia comes out, she goes everywhere. <laughs> It'll make Fukushima look like a toothpick. And if to see if there's any life left in the sea by the time that in the Pacific Ocean by the time that happens, it'll be so fucking bitter there won't be for well, plutonium. <laughs> what are we talking? Ah, oh, that's all a neat point, right? Earth going into a singularity and all because of all the hydrogen that's been removed from the ground and hydrocarbons and uh, water and uh, you know your your cosmic ray shielding. All the nukes that were set off, that fast neutron bomb, uh, bred the uh, core. Well, we'll just have to. I didn't read this article before. Okay, that's enough. I'm already two hours overdue to take the dogs for a walk on the poop deck. <sighs> what a way to waste your rocket, your entry level rocket fuel to help you escape a, a singularity. Boiling water to make. Agenda 21, eugenics, and soft kill throughout the land. I mean, do your masters, your gods that poses the creator of my earth and all the animals in it, do they really think they're going to get away with this? They didn't at Tiamat. They may have escaped consequences, but they'll be back. They'll be back for my earth-shattered neutronium fragments, and they'll... They'll find out what happens. Well, they won't. Nor will their accomplices. Because they'll be sitting in a singularity forever. Far more than a thousand gal galactic years, I can assure you.
the calculations have been done by mine well beyond the original. No hope, no hope. Leave! Leave now while you can! Okay, let's just... Uh, let's just see how this is working. Run a quick little test. See how easy that is, cats. Yeah, see, this is all being central scrutinized. Or I mean delayed in processing. Yeah, sure. We'll refresh and see if it showed up. That's your tax money at work, guys. See that again? Oh, oh yeah, she worked this time. There's probably a room full of people listening to every fucking word I've been saying. Oh, uh, yeah. Reinitialize the cell phone and and I'm hardwired into the net right now because well no you guys can't plead ignorance you fucking know so uh, get acting it's a criminal offense to not act to cause public safety to be restored. Whether that's picking up a phone and, and, and calling a uh, competing or complimenting uh, police agency or uh, um, if you feel they're all corrupt and sonically delicious, uh, do the Edward Snowden thing or whatever you can. Don't waste your fucking time on mainstream media newspaper. Well, maybe CBC if you catch somebody who doesn't have ring finger... Uh, Stains uh, from magic club rings and you know doesn't have like dual citizenship uh, You know you might find somebody at CBC on the long weekend that will Yeah, I got the authority to put this up to the people that's my mandate and seeing how you showed me I now know the law too. It would be a crime not to cause these crimes to stop So there you go peace out y'all Get fucking star tracking. You haven't got long. This is just this is just an estimation of one incoming boloid's breakup probabilities. Ragnarok, three days of darkness. One day, uh, according to those authors, is what five one back to and what five hundred and forty days. So figure it out. You got like you got like what seventeen hundred years of fucking darkness, according to their old, lousy confabulations that were, I don't know, well, when, when was that shit written? 2,000 years ago? So, you know, when was the original Ragnarok penned? And when were those actually calculations actually taken? A lot changes, eh? Especially when all us solar sentinels are, well, we're, we're nearing the end of our neutronium core lives. Or basically, well, they're not neutronium core anymore. They're, they're singularities, right? That's why we fall down to Earth, remember? The arc one? I think, they, I think they put it right there. That was the I did on neutronium data arcs. Touches on it. Okay. Toodalooski. I'm out.